Hey guys, Mark Irons here from Strickland Stratford Toyota. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the differences between the 4Runner and the Highlander. We're going to be touching on performance, we're going to look at safety, and we're going to look at the differences in lifestyle associated with both. Let's get going. So first and foremost, one of the biggest differences between the two vehicles are the safety systems. Here we see Toyota's legendary suite of safety items uh, known as the Star Safety System. Uh, this has been in place for many years now and it's been keeping people's families safe. Um, it's proven reliability and it's been in every single Toyota model for the last couple of years anyways. Um, built on that success is the Toyota Safety Sense products that have been around for the last year or two now. Um, notably the differences are active lane keep assist, there are cameras mounted on the front to monitor what's going on in front of your car for active braking as well as dynamic radar cruise control. Another huge difference between the two are uh, performance, engine size, displacement, as well as fuel efficiency. In the 4Runner, we're seeing a 4-liter V6. It's producing 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to see 14 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 12 liters per 100 kilometers on a highway. And if you're an MPG kind of user, 20 MPG city and 24 on the highway. Towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. Here in the Highlander, a bit of a different story. We're seeing a three and a half liter V6. It's going to be producing 295 horsepower and 263 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to see quite good fuel efficiency out of this engine as well at 12 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and nine on the highway. You're going to see 24 MPG in the city and 32 on the highway. And it's also got a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. And finally, the biggest difference between the two are the way that the chassis are designed. The 4Runner is a frame on chassis build, which means it's going to handle a little bit more like a truck and it's going to have a much more solid and rigid uh, suspension and a much more firmer ride. So this is a car that's going to be made for more outdoorsy type of people or someone who's a little bit more adventurous. The four-wheel drive system is great. It has a low range capability, so if you're towing something on a very adverse terrain, you're going to be just at home with this one. It's going to be much more comfortable and capable off-road. The unibody design of the Highlander is much more suited for in-town. It's an urban carrier and an urban transporter. The unibody design allows for a lot more interior space in the vehicle. Its, its all-wheel drive system is still great in the snow. You're going to be very at home on the roads when things get a little bit iffy. And you also get a standard third row of seating. Everyone, thanks again for watching. My name is Mark Irons here at Strickland Stratford Toyota. Uh, check out our website at stricklands.com. Our number here is 519-272-1077. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this little comparison video about the, the Toyota Highlander and the Toyota 4Runner. I'll catch you next time. Bye.